tarot reading for May. Let's see what could be on the cards for you for the month. I've got the nine card block with this, which describes your situation. I have lead tarot energies and a selection of oracles on both sides of the reading. Left for me is what has shaped your situation, where you've come from. The right is where you're headed and what you may need to do in order to, to navigate through your situation. Uh, Leo, I mean, death, 10 of swords, 10 of wands. We're looking at an ending here, okay? Um, it really feels like there's no more growth in the situation. It's really just a matter of you getting over the decision making, you know, time. But the magician is here to help you with that. And I wanted to show you, Leo, that I did finish with the magician at the bottom of the right away as well. So we will get into all the details very soon. Hey there, magic one. Just before we get into your tarot reading, I wanted to jump in super quick, I promise, just with a few announcements for you. This month there are extended versions of these readings available to you. If the reading really resonates and you're really deeply connecting with the message and you'd like to go deeper, um, in that reading I clarify each of the key positions a lot more. We extrapolate it out into um, an in-depth message. So you can get to that one by um, heading to the first link underneath this video. Should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself, you can do so at any time by either clicking the link to my website down below or visiting wildlotustarot.com. I do have a new little offering, which I think is, is kind of cute. It's actually the most affordable way to get guidance from me. And in that reading, I draw you a single tarot card from the beautiful Star Child Tarot and write you a handwritten letter about my interpretation of that card for you. And I post it to your letterbox. You can now show your support by becoming a member of my channel. If you head to my channel page and click the join button, there's a video there where I describe in detail what I'm offering for my two different levels of membership. Don't forget the doors are always open to the initiation. That is my immersive learn tarot journey. You can sign up at any time and receive lifetime access to all of the learning materials, videos, online learning modules, practices. Uh, and in that course, I, I am teaching my signature process to learn how to read tarot, not just from the head, but from the heart um, and go beyond the traditional card meanings and, and how to put it all together and thread it into a story as well. So that's available at any time. I'll also link that down below for you. You can find me on Instagram if you'd like to stay connected and hear a little bit more about me. Uh, you can find the link down below or you can find me at wild underscore lotus underscore tarot. I would love to have you over there with me as well. Till next time, sending you so much love and magic. Let's get on with your reading. Okay, Leo. Well, well, let's jump in. Okay. You've, you've got the magician as your lead tarot energy and it feels like you're really needing to step into control and into your power in this situation. You may have been kind of sitting in the eight of swords for a while, which is for me in this particular reading, um, you know, indecision or, you know, feeling like, well, you know, maybe this is, I've made my bed, now I need to line it. That's coming through, meaning, you know, this is where I found myself. This is my lot. And I'll just kind of numb out or maybe, um, you know, close my eyes and, and not see what's around me and just stay here. So obviously that's a strategy that can work for a certain amount of time. And it's definitely not, definitely not a strategy that will bring you happiness. But um, you may have decided just to kind of put up with this for a certain period of time. And that can be for so many different reasons, absolutely no judgment, but I can tell you who's coming out on top at the end. you got the King of Wands, which is your minor arcana down here. So it's time for you to face things head on. And what you're trying, trying to, to do here is make the decision about the ending here, Leo. Two of Pentacles is you feeling, you know, unsteady or ungrounded at the moment as you try and like, you know, make up your mind here as a decision making energy. Now with the Eight of Swords, there could be some guilt about who or what you are leaving behind. Now this could be a relationship, this could be a work situation, it is a general reading, I'm not going to call it either way, it could be for either of those situations, you relate it to your situation. But the reason why I'm feeling that it's so hard for you to make this decision is that there is genuinely unconditional love in this situation. So you could be leaving behind a partner who, you know, you, you do love dearly, but in terms of relationship, there's no more, more growth here and you're being called in another direction. This could be, you know, moving on from 
an employer or a career and you have unconditional love for maybe some of the friends that you've met along the way hey maybe even for your boss or manager or for the organization but you know a big part of life is just knowing when it is actually time to move on just because we do have love in a situation doesn't mean to say that we we should stay there if it's not bringing us the growth that that we're really desiring so eight of swords it's time for you to to see that and to follow your intuition i've got the edge of evolution feels messy amen to that doesn't it you know quite often before a breakthrough things will break down um often you know it's, it's the tower moments isn't it like sometimes it really feels like everything is falling apart or you know i'm gonna lose something through this situation Often that's, that's the way it is. You know, the universe helps to break things down so that then you can come through and it can feel messy and it can feel chaotic. But we have to trust that, you know, we, we're being guided here. We're really being guided. The death card, card of Scorpio for me. Uh, let's go through the other signs while we're here. We've got Scorpio, Gemini with the Knight of, of Swords. Got your card, Leo. I've got the Hermit, which is Virgo energy and the Cancer Moonology card. So the Death card is about clearing the slate and allowing cycles to end that have have had their growth and are now needing to be sent back to the earth, right? Um, there is great victory in, in allowing situations to to end that are, that are that are ending. There is, you know, I always say if this is a relationship for you. The, the marker of success of a relationship is not the duration. It's did you both grow and learn? Did you feel like you got what you, you needed out of it? Did you fulfill the soul contract, which could have been to have children, could have been to help each other overcome a fear or trauma? If you feel like it's complete, there's actually great victory in surrendering to the process of things coming to an end. Um, same, same in a workplace situation. You don't have to kind of stay there because you feel obligated. It's like, did you get what you needed to take yourself to your next part of the journey to plant the new seeds? Did you get the growth, the transformation? But it feels like a new dawn, a new day is calling you now. So we've got the, the Ten of Swords here, Knight of Swords, High Priestess, Leo. Um, the Ten of Swords is generally a final ending for me and it can feel a bit painful we might feel like we are betraying somebody else or, um, you know, an organization, you know, through making this decision, hey, we might have this ending imposed on us and we're feeling betrayed. Again, we need to come into the trust that we're being moved forward, being moved forward, Knight of Swords, to our next karmic chapter. And I feel like once you make this decision or once that first domino has fallen, with the Knight of Swords, we've got fast pro progress, right? We've got things moving at speed. Sometimes we can get an escalation of energy with the Knight of Swords. Um, emotions can can run high and there can be words said. So that's just for some of you because I'm not feeling an overly, an overly negative uh, energy here. But what I will just say on, on this side here, we've got protection and you and your loved ones are safe. So... It feels like you are protected, but you might have to hold a boundary. Sometimes when we're trying to end something, we'll have pushback. We'll have uh, an organization or a person um, trying to win us back, offering us, a, dangling a carrot, like a an offer, you know, is this good enough to keep you here? Uh, be mindful of that, especially if someone says, look, I'll change, I'll do this and I'll do that, unless there is real work of transformation generally things will fall back into the same pattern eventually if you're worried about the end of a work situation and you haven't got something lined up well it says you and your loved ones are safe so you know it's again trusting that the sliding door will will slide at the right time um unstick the stuckers here so it feels like the situation that you're moving on from had kind of become um the chains that bind you or had become uh, stagnant in some way so you're actually getting things moving again high priestess is here and she again of course is that huge indication of following your intuition leo she's also the revealer of you know truth knowledge information and divine timing so you may learn something which is just that last little piece that you needed to say okay well 
now I feel okay, you know, about moving on. I feel like it is the best for everybody. Three of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, King of Wands. Yeah, um, it feels like you are completing some kind of, of team environment, whether that's your romantic partnership or your work team. It could have been because there's just too many people meddling in this with the Three of Pentacles. Um, something that you have built and, and put your energy into and invested in has become a bit of a burden, has become the weight that you carry. And you are going to breathe such a sigh of relief once you have gone through this ending. And it's interesting that your Moonology card over here says, take time to breathe out. You know, like it just feels like it's going to be such a weight off your shoulders. And, you know, you're actually going to free up so much energetic resource through going through this ending because the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Swords for me can be where, where stress or extra responsibility or accountability actually becomes... Um, it becomes an impact physically for you. It can, obviously, it can can decrease your immunity. It can become mentally stressful and lead to, you know, worry or, you know, anywhere through to anxious, you know, thoughts or all that kind of thing. So it feels like you're actually going to be in a lot more healthful place physically and mentally on the other side of this because at the moment you're carrying the stress of it. So I've got the Hermit and the King of Wands here as, as the ending card. So a couple of things here. I feel like, Leo, you're going to end up back in your power, back on your power seat here, um, which is a great sign, stepping into leadership in your life again, being able to live, level up because you've kind of used the vision and discernment that comes with this card to make a good decision. Now, you might, might enter a bit of a Hermit mode after this. Now, that is... a uh, a healing cocoon for you it is a time to reflect um, and it can go on for a little while so it's natural to kind of feel that way it is also natural to go through a period after extracting from um, a workplace or a relationship where you can feel a little bit um, lost but I'm not, I'm not meaning that in a negative way but just you, you're finding a new identity you're kind of between chapters in your life Enjoy it if you can and enjoy the space that comes with, you know, recreating yourself. Uh, so the time to go inwards, a time to trust your intuition. It's a time for growth. You might be having spiritual awakening as well, which often happens when we go through these kind of endings. But slowly but surely the path forward will reveal. I mean, you might only be able to see the, the next step in front of you. But as time goes on and you seek and reflect on this, Leo, you'll, you'll be able to see the path forward that will illuminate right this kind of the clouds will lift but you'll also have that gift of hindsight where you can see what's led you to the situation you'll be able to see the growth and learning you got from it you'll also be able to see why you know why things ended in this way at this time and I really think that yeah you'll just be able to to make that sense of it so Leo that's what I have for you it feels like you're protected hold your boundaries if you need to the edge of evolution always feels messy, but from a falling tower or an ending, we have the opportunity to rise like a phoenix, you know, back into your power, recreate yourself, rebirth, and move powerfully to the new. Whew, Leo, that felt like a big one. I am going to wish you all the best with it. I'm going to say if you do want to come across to the extended, that invitation is there, first link down below. What I do in that reading is I will be clarifying each one of the core nine cards with two more cards. So we're going to end up with as many cards as I can fit here to go deeper into the message. And I'll also be um, closing out with a selection of oracle cards in that reading. Or if, this, if you've got what you needed and we are parting ways now, I wish you all the best with your month. Um, you can comment below if you, you want to share how this is playing out for you. And um, also hit subscribe if, if you can. If you want to, you'll, you'll know when I post new videos and it helps support the channel. So it's a great energy exchange between us. Wishing you love and magic for your month ahead. Leo, do take care. Bye for now.